Welcome back to another video, and or if you're on the Twitch stream, thank you for joining us. Another cast of game, in the blue as the English, we have Minimath, which is a wonderful name. And then down in the bottom, we have GG Chrysor. Chrysor. If you know how to pronounce their name, please let me know. Um, I will leave links if I can find them to both um, people's um, socials in the description of the video. And we have a English versus French, so I'm assuming we're going to see some early knights and or trading. Um, obviously the French have, have gotten a buff in the last patch of uh, their early trading, so we'll see if that becomes a, a factor. I'm assuming we're going to see the um, standard English opening, whether that be early town center or defending their gold and kind of going for that early kind of um, spearman push with uh, the archers, uh, the long bowmen in the back. This map has a bunch of little, a little shores. Um, obviously, if food gets scarce, it becomes worth it to kind of produce one of these. As you can see, it's even easier just to produce a mill, um, which just gives the English some early food, some early secured food, which they can then transition into to more mills. Um, this is the French player, so I'm, they're going to be very, very happy um, to see this um, this kind of water map because obviously uh, the early food help is going to be incredibly beneficial. We have the English player not going for an early um, dock at this point because I don't think there's one, I guess right here, it'd be pretty safe. Um, or not early dock, but an early... Um, but it does look like it would be, there's not an optimal place to put it. I guess right here, but that'd be very hard to defend. The French player obviously having this one in the back of their base. Much easier to defend over here, right next to their gold. So if they want to put like a tower right here, it'd be pretty much, uh, it both would be pretty safe. You have this kind of longer pool, which might um, be worth um, putting something up in the future, but we'll see how that kind of goes. We have a boar in the back, hidden in the trees. And we have an early council hall, or like an on-time council hall. We have a school of cavalry, so it looks like we're going to see early knights. Um, as you can see, the French player, it's incredibly important to make an impact um, on this on this gold back here. If not, you're going to see a lot of knights coming into your base very early on. So I wouldn't be surprised if the English player then, right as this council hall is going up, about halfway through, starts producing a barracks to produce those early spearmen. Um, because obviously, if you don't get that early spearman, then those um, longbowmen are going to do absolutely nothing to those royal knights. And you're going to be seeing a GG in about, what, 15 minutes? So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, obviously, these are two Conqueror 2 and 3 level players. They're going to know all this and more, even more than I do. But at the same time, you never know. I've seen, I mean, I know that when you're in the game, no matter how good you are, sometimes things slip. I don't know if you watched um, the Beastie did a really cool breakdown. I, I believe it's Core versus GUA. And that was a really, really cool breakdown. I believe Marine Lore was also on the stream. And he gave a breakdown of these um, high level players. And there were just things missed, like a, like a blacksmith was missed. Um, very simple things that you would assume that these high-level players do, but in this, in this, sometimes in the games, your brain just kind of forgets. So remember to always be critical of yourself in terms of what can I do better, and really take an inward look at when you, if you do want to improve, watching replays and stuff like that, and just getting a, a checklist in your head of like, did I do this? Did I do this? Um, can be, really be helpful because if you run through it every game, um, just not making those small mistakes um, can really, really improve your game. We have the school uh, cavalry going down. We had up to four people in here for a second, then we lost it back down to three. Um, so uh, if you're still in here, I really appreciate you. Um, and if you're on YouTube, I appreciate you as well. Appreciations all around. So obviously, oh, well, that's not as efficient for, for food, so those are gone. We have a new one going on here. It is very, very nice for this French player to have all this food for free, just kind of around their base. Obviously, I play the English, so having food is as simple as just making meals, um, like this over here that Minimath is doing, um, but it's not like that for everyone. 
we have the horticulture up uh, the wheelbarrow upgrade going out let's see if we have the horticulture upgrade as well coming in soon we'll, we'll have to wait and see uh, wheelbarrow going out for for mini math Chrysler already having it or Chrysler already having it the first night is on the field and moving out the scout sees it so knows it's coming there is no defense at all there's also no barracks at all so once these knights start to get up in kind of mass, this could be a problem for sure. Uh, I'm gonna get a charge off. Gonna get one before they back up. Yep. And obviously the royal knights start to heal out of combat. But these archers do absolutely nothing. As you can see, three damage per hit. So you might as well not be shooting. Producing mass archers i would love to see a barracks go down um oh so we have pouring and stone which means we have a uh, expand going down don't know where he's going to put it but again we'll be pretty safe um obviously as the barracks uh, the town center can kind of shoot away um but depending on how all in uh chrysler goes it could get pretty dicey with um we have three knights in the map already these two going in over here did not pull this one back to heal, um, but two is going to get it. He does, pulls it out, just don't lose this knight. Even with what? We have eight archers, so that's eight times three, 27, or 24, apologies. Doing math is hard. Not that hard for mini math, but hard for me. Um, so 27 each volley, still going to be totally fine with how much um, health they have. Two more coming in here, preventing the gold. Oh, <laughs> I wish you could get an instant replay of that, that civilian getting absolutely sent to the Shadow Realm. So, so fast and hard too that they just got thrown into this, what is this little like weighing machine essentially and just gone from the map, just obliterated from the map. Um, would, again, I would love to see a barracks going down of some sort um, to prevent this. I do not see pretty much any response coming in from the English player. English player has no gold coming in currently. And these knights are just going to be running around rampant. Um, another going down. Let's see if they lose this knight. I think they will. Oh no, that bamboo forest playing a crucial role. That's where the town center is going to go down. Does get the knight eventually. Okay. So we have knights and archers coming in, which is, all, which is good. Um, obviously, archers on archers is going to do pretty good, pretty good damage. Let's see, these knights are going in. I don't know about that. We have a sizable ball now, 12, which do eventually do some very, very solid damage. So now it just now it's produced so much now, so many archers now that it's actually a good uh, mechanism to stop, which is why Minimath is the conquer level player and I am the gold level player. Um, I would have lost early on to this. Now we have a town center. We have a house going up. I don't know why I clicked on the house like it was something important. Knights roaming around. Still have that five knight uh, going down. Let's see what. Um, Chrysler is going to move into. Um, conf Minimath only having 28 civilians, though. Uh, obviously, the harass coming in from these knights over here. I believe I said that they heal out of combat. I thought they did, but maybe that's an upgrade or something like that. I don't play as much French, so that's that could be a me. Maybe it's a... An upgrade over here. Nope. Yes, so it's right here. So it's chivalry. Okay. And when that upgrade comes in, they regenerate. Okay, so they can. They just have to wait for that upgrade. Okay, so I wasn't I wasn't entirely wrong. Um Chris are doing a good job um at macroing behind this. Um obviously these five knights prevent any aggression coming out of the English player. Because um, obviously the English player wants to have these, this bundle of 20, 
All right, we'll be 20 in a second. 20 archers, uh, longbowmen. They're going to obviously want to fight around um, town centers and towers to get that attack boost. Um, the French with the aggressive town center going for that boar and those deer. Definitely, a good, if, if it can be defended, will be a very, very strong point as well. And it will also secure the French this gold and uh, a few of these little, I don't know, what do you call them? Puddles? Like tide pools, essentially? What is that? Oh, it's a boar. I was like, what is attacking that? So, securing a lot of food for themselves, which is great. There we go. 2,000 food from that boar. And we have all these deer going down. We have stables going out up front. The chivalry bone is coming in, as you can see, the little this, and no, you don't want that. Go back. <laughs> you do not want to fight six knights with archer support in the back end with a town center helping them out. Ooh, losing a knight. Great macro by Minimath. Let's see if we can continue to do it. All right. Losing a bunch, but if he trades the knights out, it's always worth it. Um, I don't know, like you don't need to attack. You don't need to attack, um, Chris, or You just need to use, utilize this forward town center to your best advantage. Obviously, this ball of longbowmen is incredibly hard to deal with. Would love to see. Um, yep, we got the iron undermesh. So we'd love to see another upgrade coming out from the French player. Let's see if we get this into Castle Age. Um, both don't really want to go there, but we'll kind of see how it goes. Population cap on minimap. Obviously, just this ball of archers just doing so much work. It does eventually get to a point where you're just like, it does get to a maximum capacity where they can one shot. It just takes a lot longer than normal. Um, but with this many kind of natural defenses, it, it is nice. And now you have the spearmen coming out, which will be a solid front line for the English. We have siege engineering coming out uh, from the English, so let's see if they go for a timing attack with, um, well, if I could speak, there we go, battering ramps. That's the words I was looking for, seeing how many they're gonna produce. So obviously wanting to put in pressure on this town center. We have an archery range coming out. We have 28 longbowmen. We have essentially gonna be 11 knights on the field with only four archers though. And now we have also horsemen, which will be very, very good into these archers. So we'll see how this goes. That scout's gone instantly. But I do believe it saw the battering ramp. So they're going to, Chrysler's going to know um, that this push is coming. Also, with the, the amount of archers and um, spearmen coming out, you know that the that mini map is kind of going all in. Not like all in, if they obviously if, if, if they do enough damage by taking this out. Um, they are going to have two town centers to the one. And they'll be in the lead. So if they, if this pressure can kind of come out and take out this town center, it will be a win. If Kracer can defend, I think it will be GG on the other side. So coming it down, here we go. Um, the knights not charging into this front line. Uh, we have the spearmen going down quickly, and now the knights will look to move on to the back line. It looks like they are able to defend this. And now the knights are onto the archers, which is not what you want as the English. We have the battering rams going down from the civilians being pulled. And also the archers in the back end, which do no damage. Now here comes the archers into the fray. They can start to get volleys off before these knights go down. It could look very good for the French. Peeling off. I would, yeah, I was going to say I would peel back. Let's see if they can get this battering ram. One, of the, one more knight goes down. Knights being produced from three stables up up front which is very very solid so it looks like the it was thwarted two more battering rams going down for minimath i think they see blood in the water and they know that they're kind of all in on this push we'll see if this timing attack goes well we have production coming in we have four more knights three more horsemen and another archer coming in so like i said if kracer can survive this the amount of investment kind of coming out it could be good there's now three battering rams coming down so let's see what happens we have a sneaky little fishing hole over here so Chrysler just essentially waiting for this to kind of come in more knights coming in we have a third 
All right, 15. We've amassed 15 archers. Here it comes. I'm gonna save that scout. I'm gonna wait for the very last second. All right, and utilizing the charges on that. All right, the we have surround from the knights. They should attack. There we go. The French knights are in. They're attacking all of these longbowmen. But these battering rams have, are going to absolutely destroy this really quickly. I love the civilians being pulled. I would pull these as well. No, they're actually they're actually healing it. Um, the knights are doing a great job deflecting all these longbowmen because they've gotten onto the back line. And it looks like Kraser was able to defend this very forward town center. And absolutely picked apart in the back end from these knights. They have a few upgrades as well from all this armor. And pushing back the English player. So it looks like Kraser's in the lead. Um, still was able to manage to keep alive nine of those knights. And obviously with that um, chivalry um, bonus coming in, they're going to be full health in no time. We have archers as well to prevent the mass Spearman, and we're down to a very, very small force on mini math side. We do have eight idle workers on Kraser's side, so hopefully that can be fixed. There it goes, instantly fixed. We have more, we have farms going down, and we have a very sizable force coming in here. Horsemen, archers, royal knights, um, they should start to heal very soon. Yeah. Kind of sitting over that relic like, uh, like it's like it's a trophy, a uh, population cap for a Kraysor. All right, knight's rolling out. They're roaming. They're looking for anything to kind of pick off. Um, what's the move? Charging without their archers into the spearmen. I think it just senses blood in the water as in this force is I don't I don't care if I charge into my counter, it doesn't really matter. And it looks like that's I think it's gonna be GG. I think Christ is gonna win this one. Um, unless these archers just are just the what the best stalker micro in the world. Unfortunately they don't have blink like they do in Starcraft 2. So they get surrounded. There goes all the knights. Gonna be absolutely rampaging through all the civilians now at this point. And obviously, these town centers don't do too much to the, the armored knights. There's a for, very forward battering ram. Um, and I think it's going to be GG. Taking out houses to make sure that... Um, to see if they get supply blocked. Looking for any... Anything really. Let's see if they turn the, the knights onto the battering ram. There we go. Another battering ram going down. It looks like this town center is going to go down, which will be pretty much the end of the game. So, Kraysor has been able to defend um, the push from the English player, and the earlier push did not work out, and now sitting here with their own battering rams getting attacked. Uh, the knights are going to surround all these civilians, and here's the next battering ram, so it should go down very, very soon. The knights just picking off everyone that they possibly can. The civilian count is 90 to 65. And once this goes down, I believe it's going to be GG, because now the knights are in the tree line. They're going to loop back for all these ten. There it goes. Is that ten civilians all in one little, yeah, one little place? So these knights are just going to be able to pick them off. Down to 57. It looks like GG. I wonder how long mini is going to stay in this game. Maybe there's some typing going on. I don't think I can see that. Um, but this, this game is over. Um... 92 to 55, we have three battering rams in the base, and GG's. Well, that was a fun one to watch. Um, I think we're going to do one more, and then I'm going to be done until tomorrow, or maybe later tonight. All right, thank you for joining, and if you're on YouTube, please do subscribe, and if you're on Twitch, thank you so much for sticking around.